Hello, this is Chris from Polytech and this video we are going to learn how to edit the shop page on our site using the e-commerce plugin WooCommerce and the Ocean WP theme. To do that we need to go over to the menu of the site and we are going to visit the store. This will take us to the page we have set as the store of our site. Now we are going to the top bar and we are going to click on customize. Here we are now we are going to the left bar and we are going to click where it says good commerce and here we have several options first we are going to click on the store notice it enable this text will show side wide and you can use it to show events or promotions to this again here we can edit it and enable it on the side it will work as a pop-up that will show on the bottom of the page now we are going to go to the general options and here we can remove custom WooCommerce features we can enable or disable the WooCommerce custom sidebar and we can display the car when a product is added work in the shop and the single product pages if Ajax is enabled yes or no and category widget style we can select default or drop down we can add the wishlist and on the sale bash which is this one right here we can choose it to be a square a circle and to show on sale on text will show the discount percentage like right here and we have the option to my account page login and register site original or side by side and we can select to display the feature image of the categories before the product archives so we are going to go back and we are going to go to the archives on the shop page display we can choose what to display on the main shop page show products categories or show categories and products and on the category page we can display it, make it to show products, subcategories, or subcategories and products. And for the default product sorting, it could be custom order influence name, similarity, average rating, sell by most recent, so by price, ascending, or descending. And for the layout, we can choose where the sidebar is located right left bot or we can use a complete full white like this and the sidebar is done and to show post per pages for and the number of columns it could be two or three we are going to leave it on three and for the toolbar which is this one right here we can choose to show the groups and list button which are these ones right here and the found catalog view could be read or list and the except could be the length of the short description on the list view which is this one right here and this is the description the shop sort which is this one right here we can enable it only see it here the shop result count which is this one right here and the off the canvas filtering which is this one right here again it will show us the filtering style of the products we can enable it here change the text or add a close button which is this one right here and here we can change the color and the color of the button and for the products we can choose the default style, the hover style and here we can change the order of the elements on the store we can choose to the title to be on top and to the image to be on the bottom and so on we only have to click, drag and move and that is as simple as that and here we can Select the product entry media to be a gallery, slide, image swap, or a feature image of the product. And we can display a quick view button with 
since we don't have a gallery for the products, it will not be shown here. And here we can align the content to the center left and right and select a fascination style of standard or infinite scroll. So we are going back to the WooCommerce customizing and we can choose to edit the single product page for that we need to enter to the product and for the advanced styling here we can change the color of the elements on the store we can change the on sale background the color of the font as you can see we will be that way the out of stock background color here we can choose the, this blue here and the out of stock color of the font like this we're going to put that one and the stars of the reviews which is inside the product and for the product entry toolbar which is this one on the top we can go and change some of the things like borders to the top and bottom of canvas filter color like this the the border of the of canvas we can add it like this so more colorful border we can the hover for the filter the border for the hover and for the grid which is this one right here and for the grid active color it's selected like this one and the border and the number of products color we can change it here as you can see we're going to leave that on the default and we can choose change the name the number of the inactives and the border and the border on the colors for the grids here and we have the product entry we can add some padding bashing to the image border width both radius and we can change the color of the background here the borders we don't have any borders the category colors and the category colors the hover on the categories the color of the title which is this one here the title hover the color of the price we can change it here as you can see we can choose the color of the deleted price as well and the product entry at card which is this one right here we can change the background the hover the color the color hover the border like this the hover the border on the hover and we can choose the add to car style border solid double dash dotted or no we are going to go with solid to see how it looks and we can add the car border size add car border radius here we can make it more rounded if we add some xpx it's more round as you can see and for the quick view we don't have it since we don't have a gallery but it could be changed here the background hover color color hover and the overlay and so on and for the off canvas sidebar which is this one right here we can change the background and the border as well and for the single product we need to enter and change it right here and for the single navigation product and single product at the car we can change it separately here as well Once we have made all the changes we want to our store, we need to save them by going to the top and clicking on the publish button like this. 
and we are going to go back a little and here on the product image we can change the size of the image of the products we can add a custom size like for jury aspect ratio we it could be on crop or it could be on one by one square by clicking on the one by one choice so that's it we have edited the shop page of our site using the e-commerce plugin WooCommerce and the Ocean WP team in a quick and easy manner. If you like the video, subscribe to our channel and share it with a friend who might need help on the sites. See you the next time on Palitech.